Hello everyone, hey guys, this, this is HD. HD. Welcome HD back to HD another here, and I'm going to be show match with my good friend HD Starcraft. And the drone is going to get up here for day nine. He is going to see the cybernetics core and instantly know that Tasis is going some sort of tech build. And so he will be able to alter his build accordingly, which the spawning pool is now on the way. Yeah, we're actually going to talk about that in just a second here. Um, but pretty much Zerg is pro how did you check me? Are you kidding? One, one is the loneliest number that they'll ever won. I don't actually know the lyrics to that whole song, but I love to sing. Because seeing that he crossed by the cybernetics where he knows that Tasis is going to be going for a heavy gas build, most likely going to throw down a quick robotics facility. So I'm surprised he didn't try to grab the gas and prevent Tasis from getting that early gas that he needs to really support this kind of uh, after cybernetics core build. The Jaws Roaches. Dun, 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 dun. And Tasteless, uh, excuse me, Day9 now does see the robotics facility going up. So with that information, he's actually going to move out. No, he's actually going to come back in, maybe just to confirm because he didn't click the building warping in. And check again. This is a ridiculous. Oh, I'll just kill you. How about that? There we go. That solves all my Damn problems. Um, <laughs> so one thing I want to talk about really quick is... And the Doom Drop is going to be out of control. The Roach is unbro. And inside the Overlords, oh, it is raining banelings on top of this army. All of them set to auto-explode. Wow. Let me pick up my jaw off the counter here. What just happened? So now uh, Day9 knows that there's a robotic bay coming in. Well, yeah, I think I just want to say that eat your pond there, but I just want to say that from now on we'll probably be doing a little video over some dumb game like this. Although I'm not saying chess is dumb, just compared to StarCraft. StarCraft's like chess on steroids. Uh, <laughs> and the uh, robotics facility, oh, gets cancelled right there. Um, robotics facility getting cancelled and Tasteless throwing down two extra gateways after the drone has actually, there's no more drone inside Tasteless's base. Hopefully this game ends sometime soon. I don't know if it is. I'm just going to run my king away. And <laughs> I am going to try to survive off one base. It's like I'm playing off one base right now and you've got like 10 bases. Even chrono boosting the last couple of precious seconds on that warp gate technology. So we are definitely going to see an early timing tech here as there is, it looks like two units on the way and he's going to upgrade all of them to warp gates right when those two units spawn. So he's going to get an instant four more units on top of that. And so he may be moving out as soon as he makes these four units. Yes, this is me trying to chase around your floating command centers with no air units as I'm going to try and wrap... Oh, I can kill your, your guy right here, so now you just have your king. I think Day9 might be a little bit surprised that there's so many units coming out considering that he first saw a robotics facility and only one gateway. So maybe he knows something fishy is going on. There's a lot of units moving out right here. This is not something that comes out of one or even two gates. Trying to win this game and he's trying to find that one spot he can get to where I can't kill him yet. And I'm just going to try and run him until it is checkmate. And that is the magical number we are looking for. And he is going to continue to run. I am very bad at chess, so I don't know the correct... Oh, that's going to be a good spot to move. Oh, come on, checkmate. I have, I have checkmate. no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I think... Man. Oh, Yes! Yes, congratulations, Black. You win. I bet wow. yours says... You suck, White. You're a terrible says, White. Sorry, White. You lose. And it gave me this epic song that, <laughs> I mean, it even beats StarCraft, dude. Like, when you lose in StarCraft 2, it doesn't give you any song. This gave you, like, a defeat song. Day9 here in a lot of trouble, and Tasteless tricking his brother. And, oh, goodbye, Banelings. Oh, careful there. You want to roll back. Just rolling, rolling, rolling. Ugh. Oh, man, you guys remember that song? Oh, I'm trying to wish that I didn't. I mean, Day 9 has got the Hydralis because he was expecting Roaches, I believe. And this is just not going to work against this many units. And even some proxy pylons coming along the journey as well so that Tasteless can warp in a lot more units. Here come the Jaws Roaches. There they go. Got to unbro. More Banelings got to roll in here. Those three lonely Hydras can't even come down here and save this lair, which we mentioned this before, but the lair is at the expansion, which again can be a double-edged sword where it's more robust, but you lose all your tech if you do lose that expansion. And let's see. La 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 la. Oh, 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 I don't want to forget this. I am so close to a hundred thousand subs. Or not like Subway sandwiches, which are good, 
but I don't know what I'd do with 100,000 subs, like, to be honest. Like, you can't eat that many before they go bad. And so the timing of this by Tasteless, very, very strong, as the macro of Day 9 was pretty good, but he didn't quite have those higher tier Hydralis just yet. And so there we go, Day 9 is going to GG. I'm almost there, and I'm so close, I can just taste it. I don't quite know what it tastes like, and I think it says on the side not to eat it, but I can't resist like a hundred thousand subscribers i'm so close the jaws roaches unburrowing and then just raining down banelings i wasn't quite expecting that usually you use drops to get them out of position but artosis says screw that man i'm just gonna rain banelings that was i wasn't expecting that i wow that was awesome he definitely got caught by surprise in that game canceling that robo and i gotta just just show it again the positioning of the robo was at the very edge of the pylon power it was like right here and then he cancelled it, so Day9 wasn't able to scout it, and he didn't want to send an Overlord in there either, because he was guaranteed to lose it to the Stalker. Look at this guy trying to block me. Get out of here. And he's not even hold positioning, so I can just push him out of the way. Pretty interesting, but you gotta remember, there was really no spells like that. I don't know why I was tilting my head. You gotta remember! But I'm really close to 100,000 subscribers. They actually shoot very, very quickly. And so, I want to know what you guys think I should do for my 100,000th subscriber video. They are going to be very strong against any armored unit. So definitely let me know what you guys think I should do for 100,000 subscribers. So very strong against armored units. Let's see, what other questions did I have? What do I want to do for 100,000 subs? I'm curious as to what you guys think about that, because, I mean, it's a big deal. That's in the six digit club. The next club is the seven digit club, which is the million, the million subscriber club. It's gonna take me a while to get there. These guys aren't utilized very much, but I, I'm really curious to see what you guys think I should do for my 100,000 subscribers, because that is like celebration, man. You've got a party. If you're on YouTube and you get 100,000 subscribers, that is dope, especially, I sound like a bro, just like, yeah, man, dog, that is off the chisel in my mizzle, dog, you know, man, yeah. Stalkers are not very good at anti-air, no matter how you look at it. You know, get around that. Fire is getting really close. Use blink, because blink. Oh, another one is chasing me. These are very, very handy. People are not using them nearly enough. Just unlike me saying the word very, which is way too much. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I need to run. Oh, I'm getting blocked up. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, I blinked. And get out of Oh, we both died. We tried to get out of there, but I couldn't work under the pressure as the fire happily eats us away. These are very, very strong against ground units. I really, the, ver the amount of varies is going to be like in the hundreds by the time this video is over. And it's just kind of funny to see fire that has AI because it, it straight up follows you. It, it's like Jaws. It is the Jaws fire. And not only would Jaws be bad enough, but the fact that Jaws is now made of fire and he's in water, I mean, come on, that would just be terrifying. But basically in StarCraft 2, Units kind of hard counter other units, and so using these phrase very, very is very, very fitting. Oh man, I need to stop this. That had to be some really hot fire. Although, really, it's kind of like, I guess, underwater welding. Although, actually, I don't know anything about underwater welding. Is that, ele that How does underwater welding work? Is it fire or is it electric? Someone out there I know is going to be like, oh my god, Hutsky, I'm an underwater welder, and I cannot believe you don't even know about this. And moving on to the Thor. Thor is here, click me, is one thing that it says is pretty, makes me laugh every time he says it. And of course, it's got that guy like rocking out. He has one armor. Oh look, roaches have more armor than a Thor. Oh, I don't get why roaches have so much armor. I just freak out about that. Um, added a help system with tech trees and other tips and tricks. Thor's hammer, damn it, <laughs> Thor's hammer. I didn't realize that's what it's called, pretty hilarious. Tips and tricks. Battlecruiser, armored mechanical. It has three armor, so finally a unit with more armor than a roach. It only took a battlecruiser. Thank you, Blizzard. I have been waiting for tips and tricks. I was actually pleasantly surprised by this map. When I first joined it, I was like, oh! You don't want to blink out of bounds by accident because you get nuked in the face. Wow, I learned, okay, I'm definitely not getting a point this round, as I lasted a whole 20-something seconds. That's really fun to say. Tips and tricks. So, okay, so now everyone's laughing at me in the chat. Oh, this guy didn't learn from me. Apparently, he thought it would be cool to try and blink out of there as well. But, spoiler alert, you get nuked in the face. 